Hey guys, this is going to be a June-July haul video. This is stuff that we had bought um, before Logan lost his job and we're packing up right now, getting ready to move. And before I put this stuff away for good, I just kind of wanted to make a video and show everything. Before he lost his job, we had pretty good money. We were doing really well and we actually got to go out and splurge a bit. And it was great fun while it lasted for the whole month that it lasted. And I was going to do a haul video anyway, but I was waiting because I thought that we were going to get more stuff because we had a lot of plans. Fortunately, it didn't pan out, but I have a lot of stuff here to show anyway. And it's quite cool. Some of it might seem stupid, but other stuff is pretty cool. And I'm happy with it anyway, so I just wanted to share quickly. First, the dumb stuff. <laughs> I got this in the mail. This was $10 and it's a mouse pad. It has a USB cord and this little heating thing here. And it's for when it's really cold as it is in this house and you just plug this into your computer and you stick your hand in here and you use your mouse. And this mitten keeps your hand warm and when you plug this in it actually heats up your hand as well. So. That's pretty cool. They didn't really have any amazing designs, so I just picked that one because I like Hello Kitty, even though that's not really Hello Kitty. Um, and then I got this Choo Choo makeup sponge. I'm feeling like a girl now and trying to um, actually use makeup and stuff like everybody else does. And I have uh, the other one, the generic one, and I used it. Um, black makeup for a black photo shoot I did and I couldn't wash it all the way off and I was gutted and so I found this this is like eight bucks I haven't opened it yet um, I also got some nail polish believe it or not even nail polish is something that we could never afford before and somebody suggested to me to try essence makeup at farmers and so I did that and their makeup to me is pretty top-notch it's really good it's really cheap and I can actually well not currently but if he gets a job again and there's money again I could actually afford makeup this is like right on par with American stuff and so like this is two-in-one top coat and believe it or not I had never even been able to buy top coat stuff before that's how fucking broke we were so I finally got top coat and base coat I have it on now which is pretty awesome. I feel like a girl. And then I got this stuff here. This is Sinful Colors and this is called Pride. And this is just a a real sparkly not going to focus on it probably. Um, it's a real sparkly kind of glittery multicolored. I don't know how to focus on it. Sorry. Uh, are you going to focus? You're not going to focus. It's trying to focus on something in the background. I always have problems with this. Oh, it almost did. Let's try this. Seriously, how do you people get your camera to focus? <laughs> anyway. This is a really pretty sparkly color, and I have it on here, so this is what it looks like on your nails. My nail job was quite messy because I was watching Doctor Who as I was painting my nails, so I, I kind of missed a little bit. And then I got this shade here, which is, um, I don't know what it's called, but this was on sale, and it reminds me kind of a like a starry night sky and I have it on this hand I have it on both hands but I have the other I've pried on this hand over the top and I have nothing over the top of this but of course it's probably not gonna focus no it doesn't want to focus well anyway so I have this color and it's just black with silver sparkles it's pretty cool I'm really irritated with the fact that it doesn't want to focus Bah. It'll focus when I don't need it to, so just pay attention to my nails. <laughs> and then I got this lastly, nail polish wise. This is a gel. 
and I don't really know what gel color is. I'm not up on the all this stuff um, everybody else seems to be up on, but um, it's a really beautiful red color, and it, it doesn't look like it on camera, but in person, it's like a total slut red color. It's not orangey at all like it looks like here on my phone, and uh, it lasts pretty well. I looked it up online after I bought it, and you're supposed to cure it with like a UV light or something, which of course I don't have, but it still worked out pretty well. And then I decided to try these. These are eyebrow, eyebrow razors, and um, it was a two pack for like five bucks, or well, five ninety nine. And so I've been trying to trim my eyebrows down and get some kind of shape with them, and those are pretty handy. They're not as handy as what it looks like online, but they worked all right. And then lastly for the makeup, I got two sets of these. These were three for nine dollars, and they're. Um, you know, of course, eyeshadow brushes. I've never used brushes before. I had one that was really splayed out and hard to use, but with these, I'm able to do my eyebrows with this one here, which is quite cool and really easy. And then I do a little bit of blending with this, and then I do my smoky eye with this. And it's actually looked really good. Um, I did my makeup like that with the brushes uh on the one titled like a message to my viewers uh, or whatever and i was wearing the nurse's outfit and everybody's like oh you look so pretty and that's what i used so my makeup came out quite well and then farmers was giving away these um these are little plushies let's see if i can raise this up a little bit um so they're little stackable plushies they're normally 13 dollars, and if you spend 50 bucks you get one and so over the course of the month, we went and I chose that one, and then I got this little unicorn, which sucks because his horn's all wonky. And they're quite soft too, but you're supposed to be able to just stack them like this or something. Of course not on the bed, but... So I got those, and then I got this little bee with cute little wings. I'm a sucker for plushes. <laughs> and uh, lastly, I got this ladybug. And then I got this um, awesome, and I forgot to go get it, sitting over there across the room. It's a robotic jellyfish, and it looks like this, except the one I got is all blue. So I got that one right there. And I made a video of this in the water. I'll see if I can include it here, right here. So I've got the tub filled up. And this, I think, was charged up, so we'll hope that it works. <laughs> that is so fucking cute. Oh, your little tentacles floating. Turn off the light for a second. Oh my god, that's adorable! <gasps> he looks lost now because it's dark. Turn the light back on. Yeah. He's like all floundering around now. Did you get lost? You're not a very good swimmer. Well, we think that the batteries weren't fully charged, so don't know how charged this thing actually got. I just wanted to see if it would work or not. <laughs> that is so cute. It like stops to rest. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>
and it's not that great. I mean, it's cool. It does swim. It comes with this pretty good sized tank here. I don't know about it moving in five directions because it, it just kind of, oh, it just trudges along. Poor thing. Looks like it's dying. Um, in theory, it's cool. They had all three colors there. Logan said that was too girly and that was just ugly. So he suggested this one. So I got that one. It is quite cool though when you plug it up like this. It's attached by a magnet and this just glows in different colors and stuff, which is awesome. But what's really stupid about this design is that this charging base takes batteries. It should plug into the wall and that way this can act as a nightlight because that's kind of what they what they market it as, kind of like a a nightlight thing. Say rechargeable nightlight, but that's not actually what it does. It only lights up for a couple of minutes. So all in all, this was pretty disappointing. It was on sale for half price because the original price is really expensive. Um, but it's a jellyfish and it's cool and I like it. So um, now on to dolls. I got some Monster High dolls and um, this is a, this was pretty cool. So I, I'm in love with the mermaid series. So I got this one, which she's pretty cool. Um, and then I got her, which is pretty cute too. And I got her who I usually don't like, but in mermaid form, I really do like her. I love her makeup. I love her hair and especially, you know, she's got the octopus tail on her, which is quite cool. I mean, I wish it looked like that, <laughs> that good, but it doesn't, but she still looks pretty good. And I've got this one. There's a funny story behind her. She's my favorite. I love the way that she looks. Um, actually, Frankie is my favorite, but my friend Samuel has her in the States waiting for me and when he sends her to me, I can add her to the collection and except for the yellow one, which I really don't like, my collection will be complete of the mermaid ones. Um, but I love, love, love the way she looks. I love her colors. I love her face. I love everything about her. And I forgot I had actually bought her already. And so I bought her again, brought her home and I was like, oh, let's see which one I have at home. And I was like, oh shit, I have the same one twice. And so Logan went and he had to return her for me. And these, by the way, let's see, these are $30. It was on sale for 22 All of them were. But he left and he came back and he exchanged her for this one. So I've got this double-headed one as well. And this one, even though it's the same series, it's the same box and everything, this is $40. So we had to pay a little bit more to get it. And then lastly, I've got her. And I don't like all this gunk on her, but out of the box, she does look really nice. And I don't hate her as much as the yellow one, which was pretty cool. So she's worth it. And again, she's $40 just because the box is a bit bigger. They're just stupid. The pride and joy of my doll collection for the month though has to be this other series that I kind of like but I don't love but this one I had not seen in stores before and I was really happy to find her ever after high and she is um, Kitty Cheshire the daughter of the Cheshire cat and she's got this cool little headpiece on and she's got this cool little Cheshire Cat purse. And this doll was on sale as well, but these are crazy expensive. This is usually $50. And, um, but she was a find. I'm very happy to have found her. I've actually got another one that I'll have to add on and show once I find her. She's hanging around somewhere. And she is a, like a pride. And then there's one more that I'm after. She's like 70 bucks. I have to find it online. That one I am dying for. So as soon as there's money coming into the house again, I definitely want to get her. 
I'm not going to tell you what she is because I don't want people going looking and buying her. <laughs> now for my Pop Funko collection for the month. I've actually scored quite big this month because I had a lot of stuff on layaway. And what we do is we go and we put them on layaway. It costs like $2 and you pay them off and then you pick them up. And they, they've they had a big sale on. So it's like 5 to $10 off which is pretty good and normally they're like 24 bucks or you can find them online for cheaper and so we found a couple online and then we went and got out our um our fucking uh our layaways as well and so this is a combination of everything that I've gotten over you know like two months and it's the most I've ever gotten at one time but I got this fabrication this is Groot and he goes with my Jack Skellington so he's he's nice and plushy and he's really cute. And he was on sale. He was like 50% off. He was $20 instead of 40 bucks, which was pretty cool. Um this one was quite different. I am not a fan of my little pony anymore. The way they look, I hate the way that they've changed them. But I do love glitter. And so I got this glitter rainbow dash. And I'm going to have to open her and show you. The workmanship on this is really shitty. And on the side that you can see, this side here, there's not shit for glitter. But I still like her. You know, she's, she's pretty heavy. She's quite a bit heavier than the, the other ones. I mean, she's very weighty. Um, You can see on her face there, you can see the join and you can see the glue. It's not at all made well, but, um, she's got her little markings and, you know, under her feet and everything. And then there on this side, you can see quite a bit of glitter, glitter dust all over. And, um, she's got a lot of glitter back there as well. It's just for some reason on this side, she doesn't really have any. So I'd probably like to get some glitter and like paint her down, sprinkle some glitter on her and then paint her down with clear nail polish to just kind of secure that glitter in there. That's what a lot of people are doing to stop the glitter from falling off. But um, because she is so heavy and she's the, she's like a negative version. Um, usually I guess she's white with rainbow hair. And this one is of course black. I just thought, wow, she's really unique and really pretty and I wanted her. My favorite one from the new series is actually um, Rarity. I don't know why. There's nothing special about her, but I do like her. And then Logan got me this one. He got me Toothless, who is adorable. And uh, you would think that the eye would glow in the dark, but it doesn't. As far as I know, like it just... It's made perfectly to glow, but I don't really think it does. But I got this one, and this one does glow. Spirit Yoda. I got this on Trade Me from somebody selling it, and this was $19 as opposed to the $24 in the stores. And I got this three pack. Well, it, it, it's not a three pack, but the guy was selling them as, you know, all three together for 40 bucks, which is a really good deal. So I've got these three here, and that was 40 bucks. and um, of course it's Breaking Bad. And as far as I know, these ones are vaulted. They were on the list of vaulted ones, and so that's why I decided just to get them. Um, and then this one here was probably the last one I got, and I'm going to return him and get another one because the box is crunched up here and the box is crunched up here and I like my boxes to be perfect. I had never seen this one before. As far as I knew, it was only the normal ones with blood on the box, but this is Zombie Ed and I thought this was adorable and I had to have it and so that was the last one I got and then we got the bad news and then that was just it for us. Um, and then I got Darth Vader, Bubblehead and I got Oogie Boogie. Logan also found him for me. And of course he goes with my Jack Skillingtons. And to go with Oogie Boogie, he also got me Nightshade Sally. And um, 
there's two Sally's. There's this one and then there's another one. And the other one, she has short hair. I don't really like the way she looks. I'm so glad that he got me this one because that is the, the one that I wanted. And I also got Ghost Face. Uh, I'm not happy with the box in this one either. The box is really crunched up as well. But um, it was the only one in the store. And so I got it. I just I just hate how boxes get all screwed up. Look at that. It's just so... Ooh, it just irritates me. And then there's like no way to fix it. Look at that. It's just fucked up. It makes me angry. I didn't know how bad it was, but oh. If I push it down, hopefully I'll forget that it's messed up. Or maybe I'll take the case from the bottom or something from one of Logan's. Yeah, that's a good idea because he opens all his. And then I've got her. Now I need, this is from um, the second movie and now I need the one from the first movie. Because I quite like her. I love her. I love her as an actress and I love her as a character as well. And I got time because I really loved time in that movie. Uh, not a new Alice in Wonderland fan. I don't really like the movies, but I did think that part two was way better than part one. And um, a lot of it was because of him. I just think that they should have made the toy with blue eyes because... As time, he has very striking, bright, blue, glowy eyes, and they could have done it. And then I've got black and white Harley. Now, I don't like her. I don't like any form of her. I don't like her at all. I got this one because Logan got the black and white Joker. Actually, I got the Joker, and he decided he wanted it, and he's the Batman fan, so I let him have it. So I got her to go with him, and when I looked online... A lot of people were after her because, you know, people love her and then they love the black and white variants. And I thought, well, she's probably going to be worth something one day. And so I might as well get her. And so I did. I put her on layaway. And lastly, I got him because I've just started watching Doctor Who and I don't love it. I'm ju I've just started season two. I like it. I like it more than I thought I would considering I had seen it. Uh, bits and pieces and I hated it but I don't know for some reason it's not as annoying this time around and I'm enjoying it a bit and I love glow-in-the-dark stuff like I'm I'm just a big kid all around and glow-in-the-dark shit is a quick way to my heart <laughs> and he glows and so I wanted him because he glows and then I looked up the clip of him in it or these these guys and they're pretty adorable now I'm after the weeping angel um, which I haven't been able to find, and that was the first episode I ever saw, so I thought that I better get him. Logan went out, actually, and found him for me and bought him for me to surprise me. And so, yeah, that's our haul. That's my haul for the month, the two months, actually. Biggest haul I've ever had. Last haul I will have for a very long time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this um, pretty cool stuff. And uh, I will add an update to it when I find the other doll to this because she is really beautiful. She's prettier than this one, I think. And she is well worth showing. So when I find her, I'll add that on. And aside from that, I will see you guys next video. Have a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. And take care. Bye. All oh, right, so I found the doll I was looking for and also another Pop Funko that I forgot <laughs> that I had as well. Um, so I'll show you the Funko first. This is him. Uh, his box is a little munched up too, but nothing like the other one. And I originally didn't want him because I don't like the movie, the Alice movie. Well, not the first one. The second one was a lot better, like I said. And um, since I got the other two, I figured, oh, well, I might as well get him. And he glows. His mouth and his eyes glow pretty well. And he's a lot cuter than the one from the second movie that's balanced on his tail. He just looks really kind of half-made. So I'm quite happy with him. So now I just need, um, I need that one to go with my other queen because she's got the full dress on.
I would probably take the other Cheshire Cat as well, but I'm glad I got this one first. And for the amazing doll, it is, oops, this one. She is the Teenage Evil Queen. And she is really pretty. Now, there's one I am so after. I don't know if I mentioned her or not, but um, I am determined to get my hands on her. She's going to cost me close to $100 if I ever get her because <laughs> um, she's about 70 US. But um, this one here is really pretty. I love her little headpiece. Her face is quite nice looking. Different shades in her hair. Her hair is like purple and red. You can't really see here. You can kind of see there. See there's the purple over there and then the red out here. And um, she's got a cute little dress on. And then she's got nice little shoes. You can't really see her shoes too well. I don't take them out of the box so I won't be able to show you guys clearly but she is really pretty. Oops, never seen her in stores before. I actually got her off of Trade Me for like 50 bucks. <laughs> but um yeah, quite happy with this this month's this two months haul, which is quite cool. And so um yeah. I will see you guys next time. Bye.